Hey foodies, welcome back to Yummy Kifi Vidash. Today we are going to show you how to make uh, paneer bhurji. Paneer means cottage cheese is easily available everywhere and you just need to put it in the hot water for a while and then grate it and throw the water and we need uh, two onions small chopped followed, followed by the half inch, of, half inch of ginger and two green chilies. You just need to crush them nicely in a chopper or you can cut with your hands as well. We need two tomatoes chopped or pureed. We need bell peppers, red, yellow and green capsicum or bell peppers you can say. Just we need little little like uh, 100 grams. And now I'm going to show you how to make paneer burji. We'll put a pan on the gas and add two tablespoons of oil into this. Now oil is hot, we'll add one teaspoon of zira or cumin seeds into this. Let it crackle. Now cumin is crackling. I'll put into this the onion, ginger and green chili chop. Till it becomes golden brown. Just keep on stirring it for one or two minutes and then we will add into this the tomatoes and we will cook it until the tomatoes are cooked very well and it leaves the oil from the sides. You can cover it also for a while. So the tomatoes and onion are roasted very well. Now at this stage we will put in this some dry spices like little garam masala, some red chili powder, half a teaspoon, some salt, one teaspoon, little bit of turmeric, one four teaspoon and you can add two or one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder into this and let it be roasted now we'll add bell peppers into this all three bell peppers yellow green and red little little mix it well and time to add the grated paneer into this or cottage cheese Cottage cheese is full of calcium and it's really good and healthy as well. Give it a good mix. <coughs> Sorry. Our pani bhuji is about to be ready. We will garnish it with the coriander but before that I would like to give you a tip. If your paneer is a bit hard you can add one tablespoon of milk into this so that your bhuji will be very soft and not very dry you can see the consistency is being changed now we we'll just garnish it with the coriander leaves chopped coriander leaves and our pani bhuji is ready to be served so paneer bhuji is ready. We have one surprising element. We can make wraps with it, this also. So as you can see I have this wheat flour kneaded with the water. Let's say if you have one cup of flour you can knead it with half cup of water nicely. And then after kneading just put little oil on the top. And you need make a roti like this. Make a chapati and roast it. <clears throat> or instead you can take a tortilla which is coming ready in the supermarket just make it warm and fill the paneer burji into this and it will be a lovely wrap ready to eat so this chapati is roasted from both the sides first we will make it little bit cool and if you want you can add some butter on it or little bit oil or ghee on top and then Take a spoonful of uh, paneer burji and put it in the middle and just keep rolling it 
and that's how you make the wrap and just cut it with the pizza cutter from the middle and paneer burji roll and paneer burji will be ready to be served you can use it both ways it's really yummy and tasty and presentable as well because it's very colorful you can use it for parties as well so if you like my recipe don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel yummy cafe with ash so the next time i'll see you soon but let's cut this wrap and show you how to serve it so friends our wraps are ready you can just put a butter paper around or a sandwich paper and serve this immediately